Hi, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Happy Veterans Day and thank you for your service. Late last night, early this morning, there was a magnitude 5.0 earthquake along the Barbados Ridge. Close to this same location uh, last year, there was a magnitude 5.4 that USGS revised to a 5.1. Before I jump into the details, I want to give a shout out to those of you that bought me recent cups of coffee. God bless you. Thank you. And for the very generous PayPal donations. Thank you very much. You guys are angels in disguise. The Barbados Ridge, which I got drawn out in red, sits at a junction of the Caribbean Plate and the North American Plate. Um, this is where the North American Oceanic Crust subducts westward underneath the Caribbean Plate at approximately a rate of 2.4 centimeters a year. This was a shallow earthquake about 10 kilometers in depth or about six miles. I would like to know if you felt this earthquake. How long did it last? Reports that I did hear uh, or find said it was a quick jolt. Because it was a shallow earthquake, that would have amplified the shaking. No damage has been reported and there was no tsunami. Uh, they said it was because it was so far offshore from a lot of these islands, but I just think it was because it was you know, a moderate size earthquake. You can see here back in 1906, there was a 7.9 in that location. And a little bit farther to the west, um, 2016, there was a 6.0 that USGS revised to a 5.9. And then further south, we had a swarm in October of earthquakes, um, starting with a magnitude 6.8. This recent earthquake is part of uh, the seismic activity that's been happening in this location. On average, they have about 13 to 14 uh, magnitude 2s or larger every year. In Lamenting, which is about 182 miles or 290 kilometers west-northwest, there was one report that reported um, weak shakening. And they said that there was a single vertical bump. In Puerto Rico and Colombia, there was also limited reports where they said they heard the sound of rumbling, which I am really surprised because it's such a small, moderate earthquake. They said it happened just before dawn, but there was no details about, you know, anything of the earthquake other than that they said they heard the rumbling. This region does have a medium seismic hazard risk, 10% chance of a damaging shaking quake within the next 50 years. And historically, there has been large earthquakes. Like I said, uh, they've been having that swarm up over here, the 6.8. Um, yeah, there was uh, quite a few earthquakes. And then down over here um, in 2016, a 6.0. And in um, 2007, there was a 7.4. This recent event aligns with the, uh, the swarm that happened in October and is a reminder that people need to be prepared for something much larger. You know that we, we well, last night, you might not know, I haven't done a report about it. There was a Earth-directed X1.2 solar flare and they do cause earthquakes and affect people's health. And with the weakening of our Earth's magnetic field, yeah, um, these events are going to increase more and more. So did you feel it? Do you know anyone along these different islands that possibly felt this earthquake? And did they have any type of damage? I, I really don't think so, but maybe some things might have been knocked off of shelves or out of cupboards. I would really like to know. Please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you once again for your support. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.